Hello everybody, uh, hey guys, welcome to my playthrough of uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I heard that this is a remake of an old game and uh, I heard it's quite popular and all my friends have been recommending me to play this and I'm quite excited since I paid a lot of money for this game. So uh, let's, without further ado, let's just start the game. This is the story of a man ah, named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one hmm. single order had arrived on Check the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, oh. call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, huh. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Nice All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Weird. Huh, they dropped something. I guess they want to know us or something. I see. Sales in the last quarter. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the oh. door on his left. I wonder what kind of achievements this game have. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Actually, I'm gonna go check right now. Hang on. Huh. It seems that... There's an achievement called Test Achievement, please ignore. What? Why? Coming to, a staircase, Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You know, if this was an early act or something, I'd, I'd be okay with it, but why? It feels so rushed somehow. Couldn't that just take a couple more hours to like polish the game up? Jeez. Stepping into, his manager's Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud pond. to nobody. Huh. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Am I supposed to find it somewhere? 
Before placing it in. I hope the game is not like really lazy. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Very, uh, hmm. The writing in this game seems to be a bit shallow, I guess. That's how you call it. I didn't feel any... I mean... I mean, this is only the start of the game. It just doesn't feel captivating yet, you know? Stanley walked straight ahead through the, Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? It's like a gaming setup for real. Holy shit. Oh, sorry for swearing. Whoa. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of That's so many carpet. individuals like that, reduced actually. to That's images cool. on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Which one's me? I forgot my name. I forgot my number. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Never. Pipe. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't what? accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. This feels very finale esque. But there's no way. Where's the gameplay? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. It. Jeez. Was it over? There's no way it's over though. It's such a short game. Yes. yes. Oh my god. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, 
it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped oh, through the open it? door. Huh. Okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. That's a really short game, actually. It really hooked me in emotionally. But, I mean, I guess it's alright. The gameplay is also a bit weird. But, uh, maybe I just missed something. I don't know. This feels a bit bland to me, really. I don't know why people kept telling me to play this game. Anyways, uh, this was uh, my playthrough of uh, the Sunny Parable Alt Deluxe. Thoughts about it? I think they should have played this game more, to be honest. Some of these things feel a bit out of. I don't know really. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, remember to subscribe, like that button, like the video, uh, ring that bell, follow me, uh, retweet and reblog this video if you found it interesting, and uh, I'll see you in the next game that we play on this channel of mine. Toodles!